Re humans don't respect humans unless there's consequences involved. And that's where the lessons come from. And it has to start as children. It has to start as children. That's just my opinion, though. Don't, don't Yo, I, can I say something? Please. I don't disagree with anything that you said. I am in total agreement with all of that. I am just saying, if we are the adults, right? We have the wisdom. We have the confidence. We know. We know what to do how to do the right thing without being hit. And all I'm saying is we do not have to hit a child in order for them to do the right thing, in order to discipline them. Mm -hmm. And that is just my stance. There are people who disagree. I get that. If that is how you feel you need to discipline your child, that's totally on you. Yeah. And if that works for you, then fine. I just think that there are other ways that you can discipline a, tri a child without you having to, having to physically strike them. Jasmine, did you used to get hit as a child? I would not say I did, no. Okay, I think there's a, difference, there's a difference when we compare hitting our child to going out in public and they're off and we get into a situation. Kids are under our covering and okay. discipline is definitely needed. A lot of these parents want to be friends with their kids and that's why their kids are bad as hell because they didn't learn discipline. They didn't learn structure. They didn't learn repercussions. And I don't know, growing up, that's needed. Like we all got whooped. Listen, no, I, no, 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 no. Listen, I didn't get hit as a child. Did I get whoopings? Did I get disciplined physically before once or twice? Sure, but what I'm saying is that is not something that I would do when I have a child. I don't think that it's necessary. I'm not saying what my parents did was wrong. I'm not saying that it didn't help or did not help. I just see it a different way. I just don't think we need to physically harm a child. A child who is innocent and is clueless, really. That all they have is you for their ring and understanding. So when we strike a child when they're doing, when they're, when they're, when they are not doing anything that we feel they need to, them to do, how does that resonate as they become an adult? How does that resonate as they become grown? Do they feel like, oh, well, whenever you don't do anything that I need you to do, I'm gonna hit you for it. That I got discipline. All my siblings, it, it didn't affect us. We're in no bad shape. We didn't turn out bad. We're not abusive. None of us been to jail. So I think it brought structure into our life. I got you. I'm not yeah. saying. I'm not, I'm not well, kidding. you asked her how did it resonate. She just told you how it resonated. Yeah. No, I get it. She has. Some people don't hit kids. I'm gonna be honest. A lot of Americans think that because when we came up here. Yeah, it's like CPS. We didn't even know what the hell CP was. CPS yeah. was not. We don't have that. Like you yeah. call somebody, you get whooped again. So it's a little different. <laughs> Americans think hitting is a little. Uh, so I get how that. You, I, Jazz, I have a question. question. How do you how do you think children should be disciplined? If if we're not gonna have any type of physical discipline, what like what are the alternatives? And I'm saying I'm asking because I was a school teacher and I quit because just like a lot of teachers after COVID, you saw a difference with the kids and you saw the lack of parenting and the lack of discipline. And the only, and when the only discipline that they are getting is at school from their teacher, it has to be both ways. So what's the alternative? The alternative is just already having a solid structure within your family unit by way of communication, by way of being stern, being direct with your child, letting them, communicating them and letting them know, hey, if you lead this type of life, this will be your consequence. If you continue to do this, this will be your consequence to have to hit some. What will be their consequence is what she's asking. What would be the consequence? Yeah, what's the consequence? Whatever life shows them for whatever they do. I whatever got something to say. That they do in their life will bear that reaction. So you'd rather them but crash I'm out in the world than it happen from their parents. No, what I'm saying is this, guys. If, I just think there's different types of disciplining a child. Well, that's what she asked. You haven't answered it yet. I'm just saying there's just a different type of way of disciplining a child. The alternative... I think is love and communication and being direct and stern about what your values are in your household and stay consistent in that. That's just how I feel. I just want to say something. I just don't think that you need she said how do you discipline a child? I just don't think you need to hit a kid like a two, three year old. It's like it's a baby. So you, know? you think talking works think, with kids. Now, now you don't have no kids, do you? No, no, I don't. But I can but tell because if you think talking is enough, you crazy. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but no, no, I'm talking about two, three year olds, four year olds. Baby. Okay, you know, they give up too. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, that no, I get it. They that's get young. No, no, no. That's, that, I, they need a little tappy on the booty. Exactly. Yeah, yeah you don't I, need I, to I like, heard, listen. Like, go ahead, Ari. Well, you need to get some context saying. to an age, man. We had you. You had us thinking. We ain't she touching no kids at all. A belt to a four-year-old, no, we did little snacks. So. <laughs> no, no, no. Now we got a one-year-old fucking whack him upside the damn head. No, not a one-year-old. Sorry, <laughs> though. Here's the thing. Go ahead, Ari. If there's like a 14, 15, 16 year old teenager being disrespectful to their father, I have no problem with our father taking his son outside and handling it, uh, man to man. Definitely, that type of di discipline, I think, is whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That, <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> That's Jazz, it starts when they're little, though. You got to start when they're little. You have to. I got little. Go ahead, Ari. Let Ari go. Go, Ari. How I feel about this whole thing is like, I have an 11-month-old daughter. She just turned 11 months today. Um, we have a dog. We have dog food. We have a water bowl for my dog. She loves to go over there. She's walking now, so she loves to go mess with it. She loves to go play in it. I have to pop her. Talking to her is not going to do anything. Hey, you can't do okay. that. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. Yeah. Okay, how many times do you got to do that? But you say, all right, now, God damn it. I just told your ass to leave it alone. You know what? If that works for you, Ari, that works for you. I just have a different perspective. I get it. But at the same time, you got to think about this. Uh, and, and I'm saying kid, I what you're doing is wrong. I'm just saying I don't think we need to as adults with children. I, we are the ones that are in control. We are you're the right. Ones but think about it. When you were a kid, you got spankers for the same thing. And look you got how you think for not doing stuff that you weren't supposed to do, and you didn't do it, right? I don't think I wasn't. I wasn't whooped enough to, you know what I mean. That's like, not what I'm saying. I, I yeah. get it. That's not what I'm saying. But when you got in trouble for something that you weren't supposed to do, right? You got in trouble for it, right? Yeah, and you I didn't do it anymore I, afterwards. Right. I wasn't. Well, you learned. Okay. Point blank. Period. That's all I wanted to know. If you tell a child, "Hey, don't do this," and they keep doing it, and then you pop them. They're like, oh, I'm not yeah. supposed to do that. It mm -hmm. works. Mm -hmm. I see and it with my own daughter. It works. She no mm -hmm. longer goes to that dog bowl. She no longer touches it. It works. I got you, Ari. You gonna learn today. And also, if you if you this one your kids when they're without younger, having, without you don't having have to, to resort to, you know, physical striking a kid. That's all. I'll be honest with you. Gentle parenting does not work in 2024. You see these white kids oh. in a muck. <laughs> they got oh, Yes. I got I, I understand. Go ahead. Does anybody do anybody have kids on here that don't strike their kids? Quinn. Go ahead, Quinn. <laughs> She's so sweet. I haven't had to. She listens. Okay. But then I she's will. with her mom all the time, right? No. Oh, okay. But so I highly agree with Jasmine. Oh, sorry. Ooh, Shayla, Shayla and Jasmine, y'all audios are messed up. Leave and come back. Y'all audio is tripping. We're going to be here. But I'm going to say this. Jasmine, leave and come back. But I'm going to say this. Kids' conditioning years start from three to five. That's where they take in a whole bunch of stuff. And if you're not being disciplined, you're not creating boundaries, structure, like, it is going to go crazy. My nieces are learning Spanish. They know how to clean up their room, nap time, reading time, painting, like, and they're five, three, and two. So, and they don't do something. They get a little pop and go on a timeout, face the wall. And when you start that, like, my brother just got to look at them and they already know they're in trouble. So it is like some of these kids should have got whooped. They should have had my daddy where he brought out that belt and whooped their ass because these kids are bad nowadays. They have no respect for adults at all. But well, that's what I, I wanted to say to Jazz because okay, it's fine and then to say, like, you know, you gotta talk to them, but you cannot go and you try to explain to a two-year-old, hey, don't try to put your hand on the stove while I'm cooking because you're gonna burn yourself. Like the child has a limited cognitive ability. Sometimes like you either have to pop the hands or let that child burn their hands on the stove like real quick so that they can learn, oh, okay, now I understand why like I keep on getting pushed away from the stove when I'm trying to touch this thing. Like so and like you like you mentioned, too, some kids like you need to give the eye. Give the eye and you know they'll they'll fall back in line. Other other kids, you have to be a little bit more strict. So Yes, okay, ideally, like, 
you should not strike a child. But in reality, not not every kid, you know, follows with gentle parenting or on schooling, whatever those things are called anymore. So I, I know it seems to change every five years. There's a new parenting trend. So, you know, that's all I want to tell Jasmine. But. So I kind of agree with her just a little bit, y'all. I don't have kids, but I have two dogs. So I have raised them since they was little and they damn near the same as kids. And I also watch my older cousins like parent their children. So the only thing I kind of agree with is not whooping them for every little thing. Yes, yeah, sometimes you can just talk to them. But like, like you said, if it's like one or like, okay, I've watched people like spank a kid at like four weeks. And it's like, bro, that's kind of like it is this baby not even walking yet you sitting here whipping this child i don't agree with that or like every little thing you just popping them in the mouth and especially how you're hitting them i feel like it's a it's the way you can do it to where it's not so like aggressive or like because sometimes it's downright abusive the way people handle their children but i do feel like it has to be a balance of like communication and like they sometimes they need spankings like let's just be real they need to get popped sometimes yeah, I don't think everybody's saying they need to get popped to everything. Like, they didn't wake up on time, they get popped. They didn't brush their teeth, pop them. No, because when you start off with structure, all a parent got to do is tell them, look at them a certain way, a tone, and they're going to they gonna straighten up. All I got to do is, oh, I'm going to call your daddy, and they're they going to they gonna get to it. Like, so we're not saying pop them every time. Like, no, like a four-week, that's abuse. Four weeks is crazy. Cause that's, yeah, I, that's how she was taking it. Cause she, she like, at first she like, no, don't whoop kids at all. I sometimes these kids need to get popped. That's why so many is killing their parents in jail, like just bad in school. Like that's, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. I thought she was talking about a little kid until she said like, yeah, a fourteen year old, like his dad can take him out back. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Where are we going here? <laughs> but no, but we, and I guess I. You can try and loop it back to Dr. Umar and everybody fighting. Like, I think I for the know, first time, I'll. People that don't have children. I mean, I ain't got no kids. I can tell the people that don't have kids or or haven't had to deal with kids, you know, at a larger scale. The worst, the worst fear as a parent or as a father for me, as a very, very active father, is what society or what my what my child ultimately was is gonna have to deal with you know in a society or in this world that's that's my worst fear and so when i think about it from that lens again i i love you so i'm gonna deal with you a certain way so that the world don't have to I, that's that's a, that's your worst fear you know for, for people that truly love their kids and so, you know, I just can't let you get away with certain things. I can't let you be disrespectful, you know, to that extent. Ain't no such thing as fucking gentle parenting. It's parenting. And every kid needs something different. So it don't mean that you're just supposed to haul off on every kid or nothing like that. But let's be clear. Sometimes, yo, you talking to your, you might have to pop them in their mouth. Who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to? Hey. Like you, you talk, you bet you, if you ever talk to your mama like that again, I will have you on the wall and I will break your face. Who are you talking to? They need to understand. Listen, she is an extension of me and you also going to represent me the right way when you go into society. I don't know. I don't know where y'all was raised at. And I think that part of the reason why we talk about all of this, this gentle parenting and shit is because they were y'all was a lot of y'all was raised by y'all mamas, man. Yeah. 